Crumbacker wheat beer fans. It's been a while since I've seen or had a wheat beer. I'm very looking forward to this. Cannot wait. Do love my wheat beers. Um, as you probably guessed, the name Crumbacker wheat beer, if you don't already know, is from Germany. 5.3, 500 mil. Um, apparently though, oh yeah, no, they, they do have the uh, pregnant women don't drink and also the recycle sign for the bottle, which is nice to know. Additional information, this was actually brewed on the 5th of February 2019 and is best before the 5th of February 2020. So well within my time. Yeah, typical wheat beer colour, hazy golden, massive head. Bastard to pour, yes. There you go. Cranbacker Peels representing the logo. Running out a bit of daylight here, so I'm going to try doing my best to speed this up a little bit so as you can see. Um, you know, me fans. Um, head is massive. Let's uh, zoom in. Look at, look at the size of it. If you've anyone who's uh, ever seen Daddy Die Does Pepper Pig, I will now quote. Size of it, monster. A monster it is. Look at that. Very, very hazy. As I said, can't see for it. Bubbles are there, streaming slowly, steadily. Right. Okay. All the smells. Orangey wheat. Yeah, orange peel and wheat. A little bit of peach as well. A bit peachy. Yeah, a little bit earthy. Basically what a, a wheat beer should be and smell department. So, so far ticking all the right boxes. And as we know, the Germans are renowned for this. They are renowned for doing uh, wheat beer. So, you know, this is going to be a good one. Right, here we go, fans. Let's try this uh, Krombacher wheat beer. Or Wes beer, if you want to be precise, is it? Wesen. Wesen. Better German for your Wesen. Cheers. Oh, that's good. Surprisingly light for a wheat beer, actually. Wheat beers are generally heavy, but this, this isn't. This is surprisingly light. A massive head rush. <clears throat> head comes in first. Expands in the mouth, just doesn't fuck about. So that's someone spraying a CO2 um, fire extinguisher in your mouth. In the life. Not what that feels like, but I'm just saying that's that's how I interpret it. Head just everywhere. Weirdly, the banana taste, even though I've not remixed this yet, um, I have left a bit in the bottle, which I'll show you in a minute. Taste of bananas, a little bit of fruit as well. A little bit of fruit. Banana comes in. Hints of vanilla trying to play, trying to come forward. Exceptionally light. There's no carbonation at all. There's no carbonation mouthfeel. Nothing like that. It's just smooth, banana y, hints of vanilla. I say a little bit of backbone of fruit as well. Just niggling there. Do you know what? I like this. This is my kind of wheat beer. I love these wheat beers that are a little bit different to the average. <coughs> Up, sign of a good beer. Indeed, it is a sign of a good beer because this is a good beer, fans. Very, very mild on the palate, nothing too offensive, gentle, soft carbonation. You can't really feel the carbonation. Mad head rush. Um, vanilla and banana coming in. Slight fruit on the backbone. Yeah, really like it. And that's decent. Right. Now, if you're an avid viewer, or you've seen my Duvel remix, you know what I'm going to do. You know exactly what I'm going to do, and hopefully you do. If you're new to my channel, then uh, this works well on Duvel and any wheat beer, whether it's German, French, American, doesn't matter. It's universal. 
always leave about so forth in the bottle. Um, you want about that much, or thereabouts. Always keep it within about a shot. I always keep it to sort of the sides, sort of round about here, sort of pregnant lady recycle sign, somewhere in the middle, or on the bottom one there even. And that is your sediment. And this is what's going to change the flavour. Um, why this works is because it remixes everything and it will give you a different taste on the beer. So all you do, swish it around in the bottle a couple of times. If you if you like me and you want to do a thorough job, you can also um, just give it a shake as well. But just be careful because the head does climb. And I'm not joking, it will climb. It will just climb in the bottle. Um, so you'll probably see in a minute a beer with a massive head that you've probably never seen before. Uh, just for good luck, I'd just like to give it a bit of a shake. Yeah, you can see the head's climbed in that. Take the cap off again because you know you don't want to. You can't really see the colour change. Though. This is a really annoying thing because this is naturally cloudy anyway. You're not going to see it, but trust me when I say this. Um, when you remix sediment, the colour changes, whether it's Duvel or wheat beers in general. Um, so yeah, those rules do apply. Here we go. There we go. I'm running out of room. <laughs> I was running out of room there, I'm hitting, hitting all sorts. Fuck off. Right. There you go. That then is what the remix looks like. The head, still the same. The beer, you can't really tell any difference. Maybe a little bit more golden to what it was. But it all goes down to the taste, and this is where it will change, hopefully, if this is proper. I'm not calling the Germans frauds, but what I'm saying is sometimes you will get the odd wheat beer that doesn't want to remix properly. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. It softens even more. No carbonation. Softest of the soft mouth feels. It's almost like silk going around in your mouth. You then just get the banana taste just strong. Oof. It comes through, but it's not as strong as before. It kind of dies down. Um, everything gets toned down a notch when uh, you remix it. I think I prefer it unremixed actually, but uh, you know, this is why you've got to remix it because you never know. I can only drink Duvel one way, and that is by remixing it every time. No matter how many of them I drink, I have to do it. Wheat beers varies depending on the wheat. So I'm going to round this off now. Crombacker wheat beer. Um, I'm going to score this a. Do you know what? I'm going to be kind. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 because I like it. There's some good flavours there. It's different. It's not like the norm. You know, I love that. <coughs> So, there you go. <coughs> a burp. Sign of a good beer. <coughs> Thanks for watching. And join me next time for some more beer reviews.